Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. So one of the things that even first responders really are not very good at is estimating blood loss. Like we see blood on the ground and we're like, oh, that was 50 cc's of blood or that was 100 cc's of blood. It was 500, it was 1,000, um, it was seven liters of blood. Um, so we, as first responders, grossly are off on this um, to both sides. Like either we underestimate it, we overestimate it, it's bad. So I'm gonna show you a method called the MAR method to estimate blood loss. So after you get done doing all your superhero, fantastic tourniquet maneuvers and wound packing and you've got blood flow stopped and you're just like, huh, what do I do now? I'm gonna show you how we can estimate blood loss. So this is gonna be thinking about shock, um, what kind of condition the patient may be in, kind of trend these uh, patient outcomes. There's a good reason why we can estimate blood loss. So I'm gonna use some of this fake blood. I've also got some liquid I'm gonna show you. Um, so, here's a way we can estimate blood loss. So here's Ed, he got a nasty wound. We got the bleeding control though, so we're good. And he's stable, but he's got some blood laid on the ground. And we want to estimate how much blood loss. So, in your mind, kind of think about how much blood that looks like laying there on the ground. Is it 50 cc's of blood? Is it 100? Is it 250 cc's? Kind of get an idea. All right, you got that in your head? So if I take my fist and put it down, my fist footprint equals about 20 cc's of blood. Now I know everybody's fist size is different, so this is just an estimate, but it gets you in, in the ballpark. So there's 20, 40, 60. So that is roughly 60 cc's of blood laying on the ground for Ed. Not that bad, he can, he can overcome that pretty good. All right, so we have some more blood spider on the ground. Take a second, kind of estimate in your head how much blood this is. So 20, 40, 60, roughly, gives us an idea. And it just happens that I use a 60cc syringe to do this. So it's it can be off, I get it guys, but this gives you a ballpark. Like if you've got a big, large pool of blood, it can give you an idea of how much you have there. All right, so here we have a little bit larger pool of blood Maybe it came from his head. So we can kind of run that and see where we're at. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Then let's go 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Then 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320. Probably go like 340, 350 cc's of blood, maybe 350 cc's. So, this gives you an idea. There are some people who look at this and go, oh my gosh, that's 500 cc's of blood. Okay, well, close. Or some people might say, oh, this is only 20 cc's of blood. It at least gives you an idea of how much blood loss you have for your patient. And obviously, too, some of the terrain you're dealing with can be difficult to measure, because you can see here now we're dealing with the ground. And I'll put out 60 cc's of blood there and you can see that is a little more difficult so it's still pretty close if you put your fist down there you can at least get in the ballpark so i hope this video helps you never know when you'll be the first responder for the right gear and the right training man mrs kenny gonna be pissed when she finds out i put all this blood on here <laughs>